I was able to find the slot for it pretty easily, but I've been stuck on this for hours. I've been trying to watch YouTube tutorials to figure it out, but whenever I follow the steps in the video, it always comes out wrong. Well, let me help you with this. We are given a function f of x is equal to this, and we are trying to find the equation of the tangent line at a equals 7. So remember, to find the equation of a tangent line, we need two things. First, it's the slope of the tangent line, which is just the derivative of the function at 7. And the other thing is the point on the curve at 7. Let's get the slope first. That will be f prime of 7. And the direction says just the definition of derivative, which is this one right here. In terms of the limit, we get limit as h approaching 0, this version, okay? And then here we have f of a is 7, so 7 plus h, and then minus f of 7, and then divided by h. From here, we're just going to do the algebra. First, put 7 plus h into all the x's. So this is limit as h approaching 0. We will get negative parentheses 7 plus h squared, and then minus 15 times 7 plus h. And then lastly, we have the plus 3. So this right here is just the first part. So let me just kind of put parentheses like this. And then we are going to minus f of 7. For f of 7, we just have to put 7 into all the x's. So let's see, this is f of 7. This is negative parentheses, 7 squared minus 15 times 7 and then plus 3. So what's this? Well, that's negative 49 and this is negative 105 and then plus 3. This and that is negative 154 and then plus 3. So all in all, negative 151. And that will be going right here. In fact, once we do this, we also know the point that we want. This actually tells us the point that we want is 7, comma, negative 151 over h. And now we just have to work this out. Here we have the limit as h approaching 0. And then right here, I will just open this first. The negative states in the front. And 7 plus h squared, we do 7 squared, which is 49. And then we add 2 times this and that, which will be 14h. And then we add h squared. And we continue. We distribute the negative 15 into this and that. So we will get negative 105. And then we will have negative 15h. And then plus 3. And lastly, negative negative. So plus 151. And all in all, we have this divided by h. Now, distribute the negative. So this is negative 49. And then minus 14h and then minus h squared. Now, check this out. Negative 49 minus 105 is negative 154. This and that is also 154. So in fact, we can cancel them all together and we just get 0. So that's very nice, huh? And uh, here we will have the limit as h approaching 0. What do we have left? Well, this is negative 14h and this is negative 15h. So we can combine them and get negative 29h. And don't forget, we still have the negative h squared, like right here, and then all divided by h. This and that, they both have h, so we can factor that out. So h, parentheses, negative 29 minus h. And we will see that the h and h cancel. Finally, we can just put a 0 into this h. So we get negative 29 minus 0. Of course, that is just negative 29. So that's the derivative, which is going to give us the slope. Right? 
So we see that we have the slope right here. The slope is negative 29 and the point is 7 comma negative 15. Right here, let's just use y minus y1, that's a point slope form, equals the m, which is the slope, and then times x minus x1. So here is x1, here is y1, and this right here is the m, the slope. Draw this into the point slope form, y minus negative 151 equals m, which is negative 29, times x minus x1, which is 7. And then just work this out. y plus 151, this and that is negative 29x, and then this and that is plus, and then we will have 203. And finally, just minus 151 on both sides. So ladies and gentlemen, the slope of the tangent line will be y equals negative 29x, and then this and that, we get plus 52, like that. So this will be the answer. So hopefully this YouTube tutorial is helpful, and that's it.